Last week, I did a video talking about two undervalued stocks, and one of those stocks was Crocs. But Crocs recently reported earnings. The stock is down 22% after earnings. It was a massive, massive move. And a lot of the haters that they've been waiting for me to talk about a stock, and it just goes down straight. They're all over my comments. They're just, they're very excited. They love the video. But I couldn't care less because I'm going to do another one, talk about Crocs, talk about an update, and let you know if uh, I believe maybe I was missing something, maybe I was wrong, maybe the stock is it still a buy, maybe it's overvalued, maybe we shouldn't touch it. So I'm going to do a review and talk about it. But it's funny how, you know, YouTube works, where if you have so many good calls, people don't care. But as soon as you have one stock or two stocks that just go down, down straight after you talk about them people are all over this one but again you know i couldn't care less and if you uh, expect me to be right on every stock and every stock i talk about is skyrockets immediately then maybe you shouldn't watch my channel and maybe you can watch someone else that's right 100 percent of the time okay but for earnings on crocs they were actually not bad they weren't bad at all it was up two percent on revenues you know it wasn't too bad the earnings per share were up 11 percent year on year so the company is still growing not bad at all they're still growing in china china is still growing 20 percent on top of 90 percent growth on last quarter it was absolutely insane most brands are suffering in china but crocs is actually growing 20 percent in china you look at inventories which is very important with retail stocks and other stocks inventories have decreased six percent year on year all that stuff is amazing they grew 11 percent in earnings revenue was growing you know uh, they're still growing in china and inventory Inventories have gone down. So why is the stock down 22%? It's, it's crazy. It's all because of that one brand they acquired, which is called Hey Dude. Maybe you never heard of them. But in 2021, 2022, Hey Dude was very popular. I remember looking at stock, like Crocs back then. I went at Amazon and I put in Hey Dude. And I got like, each one was 20, 30, 40,000 reviews. I mean, it, it was insane. The reviews on those shoes were insane. I don't know why. Maybe they were popular because of some kind of a TikTok trend or whatever. But people were loving them back then. They're not loving them uh, too much right now. And Hey Dude makes up 20% of Crocs. And this is the brand that's been suffering you look at the quarter is down 70 17 percent year on year it's really really bad and this has caused crocs to revise guidance lower for the legacy brand which is crocs they still expect two percent on the quarter or eight percent fiscal year 2024 but for hey dude they now expect four to six percent decline in revenues for the quarter and for the year approximately 14 and a half percent decline in revenues all because of hey dude but the biggest problem is hey dude they massively overpaid for the brand they paid two and a half billion dollars in 2021 two and a half billion and they were thinking that the trend of hey dude was permanent and they can diversify away from crocs but that didn't play out it wasn't permanent it was a temporary trend now the trend is fading away and the two and a half billion is getting bored you know they overpaid for the brand massively overpaid and it's really dragging on crocs crocs is still doing well they're still growing everything is getting better for crocs but for hey dude you know it's offsetting it crocs is growing eight percent hey dude is declining 14 and a half percent so it's really really bad and that's what's happening that's what caused the stock to decline but overall they're still growing revenues net revenues around three percent but the worst part about everything is if you look at hey dude's gross margins they're actually been increasing from 42.8 to around 48 percent and you might be saying why is this so bad it's it's not it's very good if gross margin has been increasing but if you look at what the company is doing you look at volume volume have decreased around 21 percent from 7 million pairs around 21 percent from last year so Instead of them trying to increase gross margins, they should be keeping gross margins the same. They should be lowering prices a little bit, but they're not doing that. They're keeping very high prices and they're investing more in marketing to try to market the product, which isn't a bad idea at all. You know, but for me personally, I think the best move over here wouldn't be to try to expand gross margin on a company or on a brand that's suffering in volumes. They should be having sales. They should be having discounts. They should be doing something to try 
to make the brand a little bit more competitive, meaning, you know, high quality brand at a decent price, not high quality brand, at a little bit of a premium for them to make the highest gross margin ever, while the company is suffering massive decreases in volume around 22%. So I don't like what the management is doing, honestly. Maybe they can turn it around. Maybe they could do something about it. But Crocs is getting to a point it's so cheap that even if, you know, hey, dude goes to zero, they don't make any money from it. The stock is still cheap. This is how ridiculous it's getting, especially after the massive 22% down move. But the main argument around Crocs is if you look at the balance sheet, you're like, oh my God, they have $1.4 billion of long-term debt. That's a lot of debt. You know, a lot of debt. And they have some income taxes and other things to around $2 billion. But let's take the long-term debt as one4 People believe this is a lot for Crocs. And you're right, but Crocs is still making around $760 million in, net, in free cash flow, and they have no dividend obligations, which means if they wanted to, Crocs can wipe out the entire debt in two years. This is how cheap this company is. They have resilient free cash flow. You know, I, I don't believe uh, Crocs has ever declined in revenues. You could correct me on it. But I looked at the chart. Crocs, the brand itself, has always been increasing. It's it's very durable. It's crazy. But Hey Dude is what's dragging on the growth of Crocs. And that's why the entire company Crocs is suffering because of Hey Dude. But they're still making around $760 million in free cash flow with no dividend obligation, which means they can pay down the debt in two years if they wanted to. And now the stock is trading around a 16% free cash flow yield. 16% free cash flow yield for a company that's not, you know, it's not declining in revenues. Normally 16% free cash flow yield, it means the company is declining in revenues or is declining in profitability. This is not the case at all. The company is, is in fact increasing earnings per share. They just grew earnings per share 11% and they're expected to continue growing earnings per share, not 11%, but 5, 6, 7%, which is amazing for a company that's trading, you know, around eight times earnings. Eight times earnings and you're getting a company that's increasing 7 to 8% in earnings per share around the 16% free cash flow yield for a brand that's been durable. For me personally, I see this as a massive overreaction. I don't think this is going to affect Crocs as much as people are expecting. Maybe Hey Dude is bottoming out. But even if Hey Dude doesn't bottom out and Hey Dude keeps offsetting the growth of Crocs, Crocs is priced in like it's never going to grow again at a 16% free cash flow yield. And the company is buying back a lot of stock. They bought 1.1 million shares, which means they will likely be taking advantage of this opportunity of this pullback to buy back a lot of stock at a 16% free cash flow yield for them to create shareholder value for the very long term so for me looking at crocs earnings it wasn't as bad as the move i don't think the 22 percent move is justified i think it was an overreaction but the management did overpay it's not the best management ever that's the problem you know you're getting a good strong brand that people love especially in china but you're not getting the best management ever but maybe they can turn it around but at this price, Crocs is priced like it's never going to grow again. And 16% free cash flow yield is cheap for the company. And this is all I can say. Not financial advice, just my opinion on Crocs. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press the like button and maybe consider subscribing. So I'll talk to you in another video.